Completing the Stradbroke Doomben Cup double for the second year in a row. It was another exciting finish, this time with two of Australia's best jockeys fighting out the finish. It couldn't have been scripted any better, with Rough Habit going for the Stradbroke and Doomben Cup double for the second year in a row. And Mick Dittman and Kinjite promising the favourite a real battle all the way. The crowd erupted when the two hit the front down the straight. Captain Cook is the leader a length in front of Majestic Boy. On the outside, Kinjite and Rough Habit. Rough Habit starting to gather them in now. Here he comes. Rough Habit's joining in quickly on the outside and inside the 200 metre point. He's hit the front. Kinjite's going with him. Rough Habit and Kinjite. Rough Habit just in front of Kinjite. Kinjite grabbing him. They hit it. Oh, it's close. Very close. Kinjite or Rough Habit. It could go either way. It was another $200,000 in the kitty for Rough Habits Connections, though trainer John Wheeler wasn't that confident. Yeah, he got a knock from Kinjaday halfway up the straight and it just should have put him off stride, but once he got back on stride, he dived at the horse on the line and just grabbed him again. It was enormous. I thought he had just got up, but I wasn't sure. I was pleased when it went our way. After plundering the Brisbane Carnival, Rough Habit will now have a well-deserved rest. After a faulty jump. Race two was won by Palace Rain, Michael Clark and David Hayes combining. That was Michael Clark's 57th win for the season, and it was a strong one too over State Targe and our strong. The third was won by Delmar, very good staying win here. He's now won three races at the track, and it was the first leg of a double for Greg Childs hitting back drawing level with Michael Clark on the Premiership. Jumps racing is at centre stage in Melbourne at present. Today's gruelling test, the Australian steeplechase, 4,200 metres and 20 fences. The effort of lumping 68 kilos on the heavy track told on Lord of Oakbank with 600 to run. Art style on debut over the fences, also taking a fall. Both horses and riders were OK. The favourite, Kiritash, loomed as a likely winner over the last, but with the jumping over, 10-year-old Donny's Chance had his day. And it's Donny's Chance, two in front, drawing away in the run home. And Donny's Chance is going to win the Australian steeplechase by a length and a half to Kiritash. Donny's Chance had been unplaced his last 11 chase starts. 20-year-old Craig Robertson had been riding over the fences for just six months and hopes this win will put him on the map. I can only, can only keep improving from now. A win like that does give you a good boost and does get you, people do, this type of race, people do start to take notice. Start number 106 for the 10-year-old, a surprise 25 to 1 winner over Curitash and Band of Air. Another surprise for punters in race 5. It's Max Tempo getting to centre with 100 to go, draw about a length in front, Max Tempo holding centre and rule the stars, Diamond Zephyr late but Max Tempo, Max Tempo wins it by about a length and a half to centre second. With 10 city meetings left in the season, a great battle for the Jockeys Premiership. Greg Childs with today's double leads Michael Clark by one. I've ridden one more than Michael Clark this season and, uh, you know, I'm making every winner, every post a winning post and uh, I'm just going to carry on my normal way and just hope I can sort of at the end of the season be one in front. Max Tempo might now be developing into a genuine muddy. Impressive today beating Centip, who's never been out of the muddy in six Sandown starts. To Ray Six and another outsider. Prince Ackerman still a couple of lengths in front of McCash. Gars on Greek Curry connection and Andy's reward. Prince Ackerman stopping. Here's McCash finishing quickly. McCash races up to takes the lead and McCash has got up to win it. McCash from Prince Ackerman. McCash, the rank outsider at 15 to 1 in a very even field. Great right battle, Sway or perhaps going home better on the outside. Little Alley won't give in. This is nose and nose. They hit it. Bobbing finish. I'm really not sure between Little Alley and Sway Aura. Punters finally getting it right there with the favourites fighting it out. Little Alley getting there by a short half head. And the last was taken out by Latin Halo for Danny Nikolic. Certainly over the odds at 14 to 1. Now the daily double, 6 and 4, 83 30. The extra one and six paid $88.30. The quad runner, $3,541.60. Quad extra, $58,000 plus. And again, nobody managed to pick the last six winners, $33,000 plus, into the pool for Sandown Wednesday.